Hello, my name is Franklin Chang Diaz. I am a physicist and an engineer. I was also a NASA astronaut for 25 years and had the opportunity to fly on seven space shuttle missions. Today I am the CEO of a very small company here in the city of Webster in Texas, very close to the Johnson Space Center. The name of the company is Ad Astra Rocket. And as the name implies, we are developing a new type of rocket engine. We call it the Vasimer engine. And it is a rocket like no other rocket that you might have seen in the past. It is a plasma rocket. Now the Vasimer engine is not used for launching things into space or landing them back but rather it is used for moving things already there. We call this in-space propulsion. Now our company's limited resources are primarily used for the development of the Vasimer propulsion system and its related technologies. Nonetheless, we constantly receive inquiries on the workings of our rocket. So in order to address the high public interest, we have set out to make this Kickstarter funded documentary that explains the capabilities of our technology and addresses your questions through advanced graphical animations. For those of you who have always wanted to support the future of space travel, this is your opportunity. Mr. Joey Farias is our chief mechanical and graphics designer, and he is going to take you through an explanation of how we plan to convey that message. As a graphics illustrator, I have the task of creating visual images that help to illustrate the future mission capabilities of the Vasimir rocket. Beyond the ability to create still images, we feel it's important to also create animated videos, which will allow us to educate the public about our missions and help with engineering and marketing purposes as well. In order to create these animations, we will need to upgrade our current hardware and software. And this is where you come in. With your support, we will be able to create the animations and you will help in the advancement of space transportation. In order to give you a better idea of what it is that we are trying to do, here are some examples of still images that we have created to depict a few of the Vasimir engine's mission capabilities, along with a brief description from Franklin. There are six basic missions that we are currently considering for the use of the technology. These are asteroid retrieval, orbital debris mitigation, space station reboost, lunar cargo, deep space, and asteroid deflection. I will describe four of these missions in order of proximity to the Earth, beginning with the reboost of space stations. The first one that comes to mind is, of course, the Inter International Space Station. Because it is a very large object orbiting the Earth, this station is continuously falling due to a very slight amount of friction caused by the upper layers of the atmosphere, and it takes a lot of fuel to reboost the station, specifically about 7,000 kilograms of rocket fuel per year at a cost of roughly $210 million. Now we can do this service with the Vasimir engine with a much lower cost, specifically about $20 million. Our second mission involves the deployment of an orbital space cleaner to do orbital debris mitigation, that is, to clean the space above the Earth, which today is populated and cluttered with a very large quantity of objects, which are dead satellites and dead pieces of rockets that pose a serious threat, not only to our existing satellites and communication systems, but also to humans living aboard the International Space Station and other stations in the future. Our orbital cleaner will pick up this, these objects and dispose of them in a control the orbit or launch it 
them to higher orbits above the Earth, where they will no longer pose a threat. The third mission is asteroid capture, which, as the name implies, would allow us to pick up and tow an asteroid to a point near the Moon where we could study it or use its resources. The fourth mission is asteroid deflection. Also, as the name implies, it would allow us to deflect an asteroid that could pose a threat to our planet. As we recently saw with the Chelyabinsk incident in Russia, these threats are real. Our goal is to produce a full-length video full of stunning animations that describe the way in which we intend to use our technology to transform space transportation. And it will be my honor to narrate this video for you. And we thank you for your support. Ad Astra.